They are walking a path together and it is not always an easy one. But today, a celebration of 50 years since a crucial turning point in relations between the Anglican and Roman Catholic churches. The previous 400 marked by animosity and suspicion after Henry VIII broke from Rome to found the Church of England. The Archbishop of Canterbury and Pope Francis are hoping that this evening will herald a new era of Christian unity. And a driving force behind it is clearly the deep friendship between these two men, which has grown over the past three years since both took office. <coughs> to the echoes of choirs from Canterbury Cathedral and the Vatican Sistine Chapel, the pair shared an altar. Marking the moment 50 years ago, Pope Paul VI made the first formal invitation to an Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael Ramsey, to visit Rome and start a concerted effort to bring the churches back together. There are big obstacles yet, not least still the issues of women priests and homosexuality, but Vatican watchers say the transformation in relations has been remarkable. Anglicans and Catholics, Protestants and Catholics killed each other centuries ago and people still say, well, a religion, of course, is the source of all our problems in the world today. But it's important to focus also on the extraordinary progress that has been made over the past half century. And many people simply are not aware of the progress that has been made and the ways that Anglicans and Catholics today can pray together and can work together. It's that practical approach these two pragmatic leaders are taking, commissioning 19 pairs of Anglican and Roman Catholic bishops tonight to work together to combat poverty and injustice. The two of us standing in front of the Pope and the Archbishop being commissioned and being prayed over and blessed is an extraordinary sign, but also important then for us to go out and do something with it. And I think we've, we've, we've spoken very honestly about what are some of the practical things we can do uh, working together with some of the homeless, some of the very particular issues. And tonight, a special exchange of gifts. The cross of reconciliation worn by Archbishop Welby, now finding a home with Pope Francis. As the two prepare for private talks tomorrow, an emotional Archbishop of Canterbury joined us on the steps outside. It was just such a privilege to, to be there, to listen to him. We're meeting tomorrow. And to know that at the heart of what uh, this is about is not it's not some kind of negotiation between two heads of corporations or anything like that. It, it's about the presence of Jesus Christ. So joy and not a little relief at the end of the service tonight. Tomorrow, the next steps through history on a mission for unity. Julie Etchingham, News at 10, Rome.